So this is us at the Oyster Regatta in Antigua in 2019 and we decided to do it quite late. Um, Kim put out something on email and Facebook and we got four guys and that was Charlie, Jan, Bob and Keith, well, our crew member Kiara. A lot of them hadn't sailed before, some of them were motorboaters, all came together, had never met each other before. So we went out and had a practice day. Sails are called sheets, raising the motorboat halyards. So that is called that one's going to be a lazy sheet. This one is a working sheet because it's under pressure. And then started the four days of racing through five days and with some great parties, some fantastic sailing, and it was just really really good we had a great time we left the dock about 9 30 and the race is started at around 11. here is an example of the race that we did on day one so i'm thinking it's going to be there up to there Okay, this is a, a, just before the start, we're tacking, getting ready, and we're off now. This is us tacking, upwind, sail, quick one, then downwind. This is where we put our spinnaker up, and we were going quite nicely. And this is where we overtook some of the boats again, until we got to the end and we had a little issue, because we're a new crew, some people had never sailed it before. Now, we're doing big, long tacks back up into wind. It was quite hard going, very wet but we were doing nicely. We were coming across and there was us and another boat and we just got over the line about six seconds before them. We got line on us, but we actually came in second. Second in class two, it's Britican. <laughs> so what I really like about the Oyster Regatta is it's really friendly, it's laid back, it's quite gentlemanly, it's not too gung-ho still some good racing in there it was just fun to be at and the parties were just brilliant afterwards so give me my pride, we actually came in third there were 17 boats all together in three classes and we came third in the third class which i was really pleased about doing with the uh, crew that we had that had never sailed together so we all did well third overall is britican well done, Simon and all the team. I would like to make a big personal thank you to the four crew and Kira to helping us get out there and a really big thank you to Oyster. They did a fantastic job there of organising it and uh, putting it on. Big thumbs up there, well done. Great job to Jan, Charlie, Bob, Keith and Kira and especially my dad too. They did all a great job in this race. So if you like to experience Britican, come on a Britican experience with us. We're not always racing, but we can show you what it's like to live aboard on a boat throughout the year. <laughs> if I see another boat in the water, you know we'll be racing. Thank you everyone for coming, and I hope you've had a great time as much as I've had. Charlie, I know that you asked for this, and here it is. No, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. You lost one hat, so there you go. <laughs> and there's the uh, route. The official, and the, the official chart. Place mats. The, the place place mats. <laughs> Jan, it's been a pleasure. I would like to present you this bag. So if you ever come back on next time, you know what bag, a soft bag to bring. <laughs> it's been an honor and a pleasure sailing with you guys too. Yeah, thank you. Felt right at home the, the first first night. You know? yeah. Well, that's what we like. That's
one. Yeah. Here's some great photos of Brisican during the regatta, taken by Tim Wright of Photo Action. Thanks, Tim. offering week-long liveaboard experiences on Britikin. Which involves either singles or couples or couples with kids to come on and live with us for a week and experience what it's like actually to be a liveaboard on a boat. So it will be like what we do to maintain the boat, what sails we use, how do we reef, what it's like to sail at night, what it's like to check into a different country. And it could even be what it's like to sail for two days in a row non-stop. Yep. Remember to visit sailingbritikin.com to find out more about our sailing guides, Britikin Club, and learn about our week-long Britikin Liveaboard Sailing Experience offering.